Mercedes decided to play big. It launched its electric GLC as if it were the new industry standard with a sophisticated design, 440 miles of range, and a startling starting price of $65,000. For a few days, it seemed the electric car throne had changed hands. But then, Elon Musk turned the tables with an unexpected card, the Tesla Model 2, priced at an unbelievable 11,259. It's no joke, nor a futuristic concept. It's a real, functional car with a popular proposition and plenty of efficiency. The price difference between the two models is not only shocking, but also reveals a silent war between old traditions and new engineering. A battle between past and future. While Mercedes focuses on classic luxury and refined engineering, Tesla has gone all in on rethinking how a car should be made, from the bolt to the steering wheel, the GLC, while impressive on the outside, still carries the burden of an expensive, slow, and multi-step production chain. It takes about eight, seven minutes to assemble each unit. Tesla, on the other hand, does the same in 45 seconds. Yes, seconds. The difference isn't just in aesthetics or performance, it's in the logic behind the factory. While one relies on processes inherited from the 1950s, the other accelerates like a Silicon Valley startup. This contrast is also reflected in internal costs. Mercedes spends around $18,000 on the battery alone. Then it adds another $12,000 on luxury materials that, let's face it, few users actually notice in their daily lives. All of this before reaching the end consumer, who still has to pay resale fees, taxes, and the dealer's margin the price easily climbs to $80,000. And then comes the burning question. Is all this worth it when there's an alternative that delivers the essentials with more intelligence for less than a fifth of the price? Tesla answers this question with something simple yet powerful. Efficiency. The secret to the Model 2 lies in its construction. With a single-piece cast structure, the company reduces not only time, but also waste and rework. Instead of hundreds of joined parts, a single solid block serves as the foundation for the entire car. This decision drastically reduces steel use, 73% less, and also shortens assembly time. Fewer moving parts also means less chance of failure. And that matters, especially when it comes to cost effectiveness. Labor is another factor that reveals the chasm between the two worlds. A Tesla requires only 2.1 hours of human labor, while a Mercedes requires 14.3. This isn't just about wages. It's about agility, scale, and consistency. Tesla is investing heavily in robotics, automation, and machine learning within the factory. The result? A car with fewer assembly errors, fewer recalls, and more predictable delivery. All this without compromising quality or the driving experience. Technology advances and the process keeps pace. The supply chain is where Tesla truly undermines its competitors. While Mercedes relies on suppliers spread across the globe, Tesla produces 67% of its components in-house. Tesla, on the other hand, produces only 23%. Fewer intermediaries mean fewer delays, fewer hidden costs, and more control. This directly reflects on the final price. And here's the key point. It's not that Tesla is skimping on quality. It's eliminating the unnecessary, the superfluous, and what doesn't add direct value to the consumer. Looking at the GLC, it's undeniable that it delivers sophistication. But at what price? A system with 47 buttons on the dashboard may seem advanced, but for the average user, it's more confusing than useful. Tesla opted for functional minimalism, a central screen and voice commands. Less is more. The simplicity of the experience becomes a real differentiator. And then, the consumer begins to rethink what really matters. Status or practicality? Luxury badge or real range? Looks or functionality? This is where the Tesla Model 2 wins hearts and minds. Even with such staggering numbers, the most curious thing 
is understanding how Mercedes, by launching the GLC at such a high price, unintentionally validated Tesla's strategy. It demonstrated that it's possible to create a fully electric car, but only if the manufacturer is willing to rethink everything from scratch. Elon Musk understood this before anyone else. And with the Model 2, he not only fully entered the affordable car market, but also sent a loud and clear message to the industry. The future is affordable, scalable, and efficient, and it doesn't have to cost a fortune. The first thing many people wonder when they see the Model 2's price is, how did Tesla manage to reach such an absurdly low price? It's not a marketing ploy, nor a temporary discount. The secret lies in cost engineering. It starts with the battery, the heart of any electric car. Tesla opted for cheaper and more durable LFP batteries with 60 kWh of capacity. And most impressively, thanks to its scale and large-scale supply agreements, it pays just $70 per kWh, which works out to $4,200 per battery. This figure alone puts pressure on all competitors. But it doesn't stop there. The car's structure, made using single-piece casting technology, has an estimated cost of a $1,990. This eliminates the need to assemble dozens of smaller parts, reducing steps and the risk of failure. It's like printing the entire car's chassis in one go. Furthermore, Tesla doesn't spend a fortune on cables, brackets, or fasteners that complicate the assembly process. The idea is clear. Fewer parts, lower costs, more efficiency. Every dollar saved in this process translates into direct value for the consumer. The electronics also follow this logic. Because it already has a robust software and hardware foundation inherited from the Model 3 and Y, the Model 2 can take advantage of this entire technological infrastructure. This includes sensors, a driver assistance system, and integration with full self-driving. The cost of all this? Just $1.420 per unit. Tesla achieves this because it invested heavily back then, and now it's reaping the benefits of a reusable technology base, while other automakers are still trying to build theirs. And then comes perhaps the most revolutionary aspect of all, assembly costs. Thanks to near-total automation, the Model 2 can be produced at a rapid pace for just $2,100 per unit. The company projects annual production of up to 10 million units, drastically diluting all fixed costs. The more you produce, the cheaper each car becomes. It's the scale effect at its purest. And while rivals are still struggling to adapt legacy assembly lines, Tesla already operates like a digital factory. Even with all this, the company still includes profit margin and R&D investment recovery, adding $2,149 to the total. And yet, the final price remains $11,000. There are no accounting tricks or disguised incentives. It's the real cost. And this completely changes the game. Because if a company can deliver a functional, safe, and technologically advanced car for that price, what justifies an electric car costing three, four, or five times as much? That's the question every consumer is now starting to ask. Comparing monthly, the impact is enormous. The estimated cost of ownership for the Model 2 is less than $200 per month, considering financing and basic use. This puts the car within reach of students, retirees, and even low-income families. Meanwhile, the Mercedes GLC, with a total value that can exceed $80,000, generates a monthly payment of over $900. In a scenario of high interest rates and tight incomes, this difference is what separates desire from reality for many people. And the Model 2 delivers more than just price, it delivers access. Tesla's model ends up generating a ripple effect throughout the market. If an automaker demonstrates that it can deliver something functional and advanced for under $12,000, the pressure on competitors becomes unsustainable. The question is no longer whether consumers want an electric car, but whether other automakers can justify their prices in the face of such a competitive alternative. The Model 2 isn't just a novelty. 
It's a mirror that reveals the excessively inflated costs and inefficient traditions of the automotive industry. And the consequence of all this is inevitable, a complete reconfiguration of how we think about buying a car. Tesla isn't just selling a cheap vehicle. It's offering a completely different production model based on automation, data, and scalability. And with this, it's not just entering a new market segment, it's creating a new standard of expectation. Because once consumers understand that it's possible to have a modern electric car for less than $12,000, anything above that starts to be questioned. The Model 2's great thing is that it wasn't just designed to be affordable, it was designed to be truly useful, especially for those who need practicality and economy most, retirees. And this isn't a small segment. In the United States, more than 54 million people live over the age of 65, many of them on fixed incomes and increasingly dependent on health care. Tesla didn't ignore this fact. On the contrary, the new car was tailored to this demographic. The result? A vehicle that respects the limits of age without seeming limited. One example of this is the optimized voice commands with 99% accuracy based on studies on geriatric technology. This means that to turn on the air conditioning or map a route to the pharmacy, just speak. Simple, direct, and effortless. For those with arthritis, for example, this detail makes a huge difference in daily life. The traditional steering wheel and small buttons become obstacles over the years, and the Model 2 understands this. The idea is not just to impress, but to make technology functional, natural, and frustration-free. Another surprising detail is the low entry design and ideal seat height. The car practically invites the user to enter effortlessly. For those with mobility issues, this prevents falls and unnecessary pain. The seat is at the perfect height between sitting down and standing up, something traditional manufacturers rarely consider. The door opens wider, access is direct, and the floor is flat all to ensure independence for the driver or passenger without the feeling of using an adapted car. It's a smart car, not a special one. And if you think that's all, wait until you understand the concept of bi-directional charging. The Model 2 can not only charge itself, but also power your home during peak hours. According to 2025, FI 20.25, data from the National Renewable Energy Laboratory this feature can generate savings of up to $600 per year on your electricity bill. In other words, the car stops being a fixed expense and becomes an active source of savings. For retirees, this is significant. It means less financial pressure and greater energy security. Cloud-based updates also deserve attention. Based on real-world usage data from millions of drivers, the car adapts its interface in a personalized way. This includes simplified shortcuts, accessibility adjustments, and automatic suggestions. What's more, Tesla designed the interface's learning curve so that people over 65 adapt 20% faster. It's as if the car were a personal assistant that learns from you, not the other way around. No long manuals or hidden buttons, just direct, simple, and efficient interaction. Durability is another key factor. The Model 2 is designed to reach a 400,000-mile lifespan, with up to 50% fewer moving parts than a traditional car. This means fewer trips to the repair shop, fewer parts breaking, and fewer unexpected expenses. According to studies by Argonne National Laboratory, this structural efficiency represents a savings of $20,000 over the car's lifetime. And most importantly, it brings peace of mind. Those who buy a Model 2 aren't just buying a vehicle, they're investing in longevity and peace of mind. And all of this connects to something much larger, dignity in old age. Mobility is one of the last pillars of independence for many seniors. And when it depends on expensive, complicated, or constantly maintained cars, that autonomy disappears. The Model 2 gives control back to the driver. Simply, elegantly and affordably. It doesn't treat the retiree as a problem to be solved, but 
as a human being with real needs and life experience. And this is reflected in every design decision. Perhaps that's why the Model 2 is going viral among retirement communities. On forums, social media, and support groups, reports are mounting of people who see the car as a chance to drive safely again, visit their grandchildren, or simply go to the bakery without help. It's not just about saving money. It's about freedom, about continuing to live a full life. And Elon Musk, like it or not, seems to have understood this with a clarity rare in today's automotive world. When you look at the numbers, the Model 2's financial impact is almost unbelievable. But it's all documented. Over 10 years, the total cost of ownership is around $32,520. This includes financing, insurance, maintenance, and energy. For comparison, a combustion engine car like the Honda CRV exceeds $100,000 in the same period. The difference? No less than $69,120. Now imagine investing that savings at a 6% annual return. In the end, you'd have $123,891. This isn't just a car choice, it's a lifestyle strategy. The secret lies in every penny saved month after month. Financing the Model 2 costs around $189 per month. Insurance, 47. Electricity to drive about 12,000 miles per year comes to just $23 per month, based on an average of 12 pound sequins, treat or 12 cents per kilowatt hour. And maintenance, a ridiculous $12 per month, considering the car barely requires any maintenance or maintenance. All in all, the monthly cost of owning the Model 2 is $271, while a similar gasoline-powered car costs $847. It's a difference that can shake any budget. This savings margin translates into a better quality of life for those living on a fixed income. According to current data, the average retiree in the U.S. earns about $1,170 per month. With a gasoline-powered car, almost 45% of that income goes to transportation. With the Model 2, that number drops to 14.2%. The savings can be used for health care, better nutrition, leisure, or simply for emergencies. Every dollar saved means extra breathing room at the end of the month. And this predictability in costs is something many seniors value more than speed or power. Another important point is energy stability. With the Model 2, there are no more surprises with gas prices, which rise and fall depending on the market. Charging the car at home at night, when energy is cheaper, ensures a hassle-free routine. And for many retirees, leaving the house to fill up is a challenge. The Model 2 solves this with the convenience of charging in the garage. That's an estimated 47 fewer trips to the gas station per year. This represents not only savings, but also safety and convenience. Maintenance also becomes a relief. While combustion engine cars require frequent oil changes, filters, belts, spark plugs, and inspections, the Model 2 eliminates 89% of these procedures. This means less time in repair shops, fewer unexpected expenses, and fewer headaches.